Okay, so finally, almost two weeks since the release of WatchOS 9 Beta 4, we now have a new Apple Watch update that we can update our devices to, and this is WatchOS 9 Beta 5. At the time I'm recording this video, this is available to developer beta testers, and later on this week to public beta testers, and as you can see here for me on my Apple Watch Series 7, this exact update came in at exactly 563 megabytes. I was updating from watchOS 9 beta 4 and this update does have some new features and changes and I'm just going to share all there is to know when it comes to watchOS 9 beta 5. My name is Ben and this is Half Man Half Tech. So as you can see here, this is my device that has just been updated. You can see the notification here that your device is now up to date. And if we go into the settings and see what are some of the new features or new changes that came with this watch. So we'll go into general and go to where it says about. You can see that we have a new build number here and the build number is 20 r 5343e so this build number now ends with an e and compared to watchOS 9 beta 4 which i was on previously this takes about two steps in the positive directions because beta 4 had 20 r533g so we went from a a G to an E which is a positive build and it just goes to show that most of the bugs and issues are being washed out when it comes to watchOS 9. So there is also something else that I want to show you as you can see on my iPhone here when it comes to some other updates that Apple released today. So if we go to the Apple developer page here you can see some other operating systems. So we have iOS 16 as well as iPad OS 16 beta 5. We we also have Mac OS 13 beta 5 and watch OS 9 beta 5 not forgetting TV OS 16 beta 5 most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if that's something that interests you then a sub to the channel will definitely keep you up to date when it comes to what your device can now finally do after you update to these latest updates now when it comes to the new features and changes that I want to show you when it comes to watch OS 9 beta 5 the first one as you can see I've set up my iPhone really close and by the way with the latest iOS 16 beta which is beta 5 you can see that you can see your battery percentage without having to put down the notification center but the first new feature that I want to show you has to do with the Apple watch where sometimes you might be able to lose your iPhone but you still have your Apple watch on and you want to be able to locate your iPhone so if you go to your notification section or control section rather of your Apple watch and click the find iPhone you can hear that the tone has been updated. Just for reference, let's hear that again without me speaking. Okay, so that's the new tone that has been updated and it's a good change and it's good to see that from time to time Apple does refresh some of these sounds. Now, also with this update, there is a new change that has to do with emergency SOS. So if you tap and hold your side button on your Apple Watch for about two seconds, you, you might know that this button here used to be emergency SOS so you would call SOS emergency services but as you can see here the text has been updated to emergency call so that's just a minor wording change and also I noticed that on this update my power shutdown for the Apple watch has glitched out you can see that it's sort of out of frame and you can see where it went on top there I can turn off my Apple watch since I tested it out so this is something that you might be able to see once you update your watch to watch os 9 beta 5 now those seems to be most of the new features and changes that came with this update however there are quite a number of bugs that have been resolved with this update not as many as the previous one but the first one that i want to show you or let you know 
is if you use third party app complications for your new watch faces that came with watch os 9 specifically these ones that you see here now there were issues before where complications were not showing up properly where when you set like one of these new watch faces but with this watch os 9 beta 5 it seems like most of those have been washed out with this update also there's something that i want to show you or let you know when it comes to core ui or core kit era one which has been resolved with this update as well it has to do with voice over ip or over internet protocol issues that were there in the previous update there's also more fixes when it comes to some workouts that were not registering properly or when you perhaps do a cycle and you want to see how how long or how many calories and or the average kilometer per hour distance sometimes this was not working properly but according to most of the feedback that i got this has been resolved and it's not just the cycling by the way there is a number of new fixes that comes to the workout app and most of these workouts here are working as they are supposed to and data is being collected and represented to you in real time as it's supposed to so that's something good that has been fixed with this update now if we go ahead and look at some of the release notes that apple mentioned when it comes to these updates they are quite a number of of bugs that are still existing with this update as you can see the first one i did show you when i try to power off or power cycle my device sometimes it doesn't allow me and i sometimes the text is out of bounds or out of borders that's a minor bug and as you can see from the release notes here there also are some compatibility issues this one has been there since like the first beta and then also you can see that we have non issues issues again when it comes to cxp we have some deprecations as well when it comes to core graphics and we have some non issues when it comes to device discovery user interface and some networking and voice shortcut issues when it comes to when we could possibly see the release of this update let me just open up my calendar here usually according to what we see since i do beta testing for apple watch and ios and mac os what we usually see according to history is that once we arrive at beta 5 of the major update or beta os's around beta 5 we start to move to weekly cycles so perhaps next week between the week of the 15th to 18th of august we could be seeing the next watch OS 9 beta 6 update so if that is the case then we we'll most probably be able to see the official release of watch OS 9 sometime mid september and according to some sources online they seem to suggest that maybe on the 13th of september we could have an apple event so that would mean that maybe on the 19th or on the 20th of september we could be getting watch os 9 officially released to those that have the apple watch series 4 and newer and have an iphone 8 or newer that can take the latest ios version so other than that guys that's just my quick two cents and some of the things that i managed to find when it comes to watch os 9 beta 5 if you like this video definitely leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace